we live in the world where there are a lot of unpleasant things. And it's important how to learn how not to be shaken by them. The Buddha talks about two things in particular, painful feelings and unpleasant words. In some ways, the unpleasant words are more painful than the painful feelings, because we give meaning to them. The painful feelings don't have much of a meaning, just the way the body is. Although some people interpret it as some divine being's decision that they're going to have pain, which makes it really heavy. But if you realize that pain comes from the fact that you've got a body, when there's birth there's going to be pains. That takes a lot of the weight off of those pains. And the question of whether you deserve it or not, that gets lifted as well. The fact that we're born means we're going to, there's going to be aging, illness, and death. So we have to learn how to put up with these things, but not let our minds get disturbed by them. As for painful words, this is a case where we tend to add to our own suffering. Someone says something once, and we use it to stab ourselves again and again and again. And even if they say these nasty things many times, we stab ourselves even more. And it's the stabbing of ourselves. That's what's really hurtful. You say, I can't stand it that this person has this attitude toward me. We don't know what that person's attitude is all the time. But you paint them as having this attitude all the time. And you hold that thought in mind all the time. And of course it's going to weigh the mind down. So as Venerable Sardibhuta once suggested, that to tell yourself an unpleasant sound has made contact at the ear. When the contact stops, the sound stops. That's it. Leave it there. That way you're not carrying useless garbage and junk around in your mind with all of its sharp pieces that you used to stab yourself with. And you find that you can stand things a lot better. Of course, the other principle of endurance or patience is that you focus not on the things that are hard to endure, you focus on the things that are actually good in the present moment. Take some strength from those. You've got a breath that you can learn how to breathe in a comfortable way. Well, do that. You have skills in learning how to talk to yourself in a skillful way. Well, use those skills. Don't let them go to waste. Don't leave them unused. The Buddha offers these things, sets them out for us. And sometimes we don't even take what he offers. Other times we take it and we stick it in our pocket and then forget about it. He offers these things because they're useful. As he said, all the things he taught had a use. If they didn't have a use, he wouldn't have taught them. So try to make use of his teachings. And especially when your emotions are running high, that's when you really need them the most. Of course, that's when your mindfulness tends to be weakest, or you're mindful of the wrong things. So remember, it's what you keep in mind, the skills you keep in mind. Those are going to make the difference between whether you suffer or not. So keep them in mind all the time. Am I trying to